Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. And my voice sounds a little bit strange because I am holding in a cough, more or less. Okay, that's that's better. Okay, we're into the door because, well, not for much actually. We're only here for one reason. <laughs> I decided to skip the walk back and just come straight here, off-screen. Maria, the famous opera diva, is absolutely gorgeous! If you say so. This mansion... Impersario? Maria? Who is Maria? M me Sorry, I mistook you for someone else. Wow, you could pass for Maria in a heartbeat. Oh dear. Oh me, oh my. We're really in trouble this time. Who's Maria? Ooh, what's this? That man must have dropped it. But what is it? That man is the director of the trope that performs at the Opera House. If you say so, Maestro. Everyone just calls him Impresario. He's been a, in a tizzy ever since that letter arrived. Okay, so it's a letter. Dearest Maria, I've decided I will take you as my wife, so I'll be coming to kidnap you, the wandering gambler. I can see how this would be a problem. Who's this wandering what's this? Really? Really? Well, as, as a matter of fact... <laughs> A gambling vagabond who finds freedom from society's narrow views of mortality aboard his ship, the Blackjack. He is Setzer! Ladies' man extraordinaire! Uh. And not the first either, come to think of it. <laughs> It can't be the world's only airship. I mean, come on, do you know how ridiculous that sounds? If we had that airship, we'd have a way into the Empire. Let's set up a meeting with it, set, sir. Okay, it sounds like a plan. Well, the oh, the music stopped. That's a little disappointing. Ah, okay. So he did actually mention Maria. So, okay then. I have a... yeah. Okay then. Anyway, there's only one place Setzer could be, and that is, at, of course, at the Opera House. Okay then, um, you know, maybe we should just cut there. As I recall, this is a pretty windy path. And therefore also pretty long. Well, I'm almost there now, so I guess not. TO THE OPERA! Uh, after I save. And in we go! Hmm, where have I heard this music before? Impresario! Aha! It is you again! We read that letter. So, Setzer's coming to snatch Mario away. He'll probably appear right at the climax of the first act. He loves making an entrance. <sighs> oh, 
All right. When he shows up, we'll jump out and nab him. Dear me, no! You'll ruin the performance. I'll lose my job. But I thought you—I I thought you were the head of the trope. Uh, moving on. But if you don't do anything... Oh, this is simply horrible! I want the performance to be a success! But I don't want Mario to be abducted! Let him grab her! We'll use a decoy. Once he's got her, we'll follow him right back to his airship. And if all goes well, we should be able to commandeer it! That's a treasure hunter for you. Are you mad? If anything should happen to Maria, that's why we said decoy. Yeah, exactly. You need to listen better, dude. So, people have claimed. Now wait just a minute. She can be our Maria. We'll let Setzer kidnap her and lead us to his airship. Brilliant! I'm glad I, I thought of it. Nah, he doesn't strike me as the type of person to do that. <laughs> Hold on here! I'm a former general, not some opera floozy! <laughs> She's practicing. That's the spirit. You. What voice did I do for Ultros last time? I don't remember. Oh well. I'll just. <laughs> I got my own surprise plan for y'all. Just like Cesar! It'll be tons of fun! That's kind of too Kafka-y, honestly. But, you know, I don't know. Ultros is a really comedic one, so I sort of want to use my comedic voice. With the problem being that Kafka is basically psychocomic, the voice. So, hmm. What, well, what you gonna do? No one read the letter. Yeah, isn't anyone gonna read it? And now for the truly the famous scene. One of them. Hmm. This is gonna be a long episode, probably. Because this is gonna take a while. Sorry. But there's nothing I can do about it, because this whole thing DEMANDS being in a single part. Probably. We'll see. If the opera does indeed start now, and it sounds like it is, then I'm not stopping until it's finished. Or talking, for that matter, so I'm gonna shut up now. The war between the East and the West was growing more violent by the day. Draco, a soldier from the West, thinks of his love, Maria, back at home. Could stand to roll the text a little bit.
Oh, I'm in control now. Hmm. <laughs> Sabin. Okay, so. I think this is probably one of the few scenes in this game where I really wish I was in a different version of it. Just because. This is like the one, probably the one place in the whole game. This and maybe the final boss, where I can really hear the difference. And even then, I think it's better than people give it cr credit, but even so, yeah, I can hear the quality loss in this relative to the Super Nintendo version. Or the PlayStation 1, which is the one I've actually played. Okay, how, how do- oh, there we go. Hmm. <laughs> Have you always been that pretty? Walk, why did you stand up for me when you did? Because I'm tired of standing by and doing nothing when I lose the- Okay! Time to complain about the translation now. Um, here's the thing. In the other translation of this game, one of the things they did is they made this relationship between Locke and Slez much more ambiguous. It was still there in subtext, but they never said it explicitly like this. And I think it loses a lot by being in your face about it. So, you know, shame on you, translator guy who is not Ted Woolsey, because you do have no knack for subtlety whatsoever. Um, that said, let's, let's, let's continue. <clears throat> that ribbon looks nice on you. Okay, so is the actress also named Maria? Um... Whatever. Oh hey, I'm in control of her now. Can't open my menu though. Or run. Wait, I should probably check the script. I almost didn't. Oh, my hero, my beloved, shall we still be made to part? Thou promises of her neural love, yet sing here in my heart. I'm the darkness, you're the starlight, shining brightly from afar. Through hours of despair, I offer this prayer to you, my evening star. Must my final vows exchange with him and not with you? Were you only here to quiet my fear? Oh, speak, guide me anew. Were you only here to quiet my fear? Oh, speak. Oh, uh, I think I already said that one. Whoops. You know, yeah. So here's the thing about this part. Uh... We do actually have to enter our lines, like, we have options, and if we screw up, we have to restart, and if we screw up too many times, we get a game over. Um... Forced to wed the Eastern Prince of Rouse, Mario thinks only of Draco as she gazes at the stars each night.
Note, I'm in control here. He's blinking because we need to go and do this. Come, Maria, dance with me! And we are all on a time limit, although it's a fairly lenient one, I think. Okay, we're in the clear. Prince Rouse is looking for his dance partner. Please leave the past behind. Our kingdom is part of the East now. And on that note, you are wonderful, Celez. On that note, I'm gonna cut off here. <laughs> Just in time. Tune in next time to find the exciting conclusion to the opera. Will it finish, finish successfully? Will Zetzer steal Celez? And what is Ultros up to? Find out the answer to all of these, or at least most of them, next time! But until then... This is Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Baloo, and have a good day. Mm -hmm.